Columbus Public Library with Simple Steps Storytime. And this week, reading is classic. So you get to sing songs that are classic that you know and love. We'll also be reading stories set in the past or that are maybe classic to you and your families. And we'll also be doing crafts and activities that maybe your parents or even your grandparents loved. So make sure you stay tuned. Hi, I'm Miss Tammy. We are doing Reading is Classic today and we are doing Fun with Disney. I'm going to start with a well-known song, Skidamarinky Dinky Doo, but it's a little bit different with the Mickey things. Dance along with Thomas and Duchess. Can you hop on one foot like Olaf and Anna? Flap your arms and flutter like a butterfly. Can you name all the colors in the rainbow? Count all the stars and then make a wish. Can you pedal your feet like Daisy and Donald? Give a big hug to someone you love. Now we have another fun story about Minnie and Mickey. This is Mickey's camp out. Mickey Mouse and his friends were excited. It was time for their annual camp out. Everyone had an important job. Mickey packed the tents, Goofy learned how to build a fire, Minnie and Daisy made dinner, Donald bought some new flashlights. Is everybody ready? Mickey asked when they packed up the car. Let's go. Mickey drove up a mountain and through the woods. Finally, he parked the car next to the lake. Here we are, he said. Gosh, smell that fresh air, Goofy said as he took a deep breath. What should we do first? Let's set up our tents, Mickey suggested. I've never put up tents before, Minnie said. It's easy, Mickey told her. Just slip the tent poles into the pocket. Mm, Mickey, Daisy said, where are the poles? Mickey's eyes grew wide. Oh no, he exclaimed, I forgot them. That's okay, Mickey, Goofy said. We'll have just as much fun sleeping under the stars. As the sun started to set, Daisy shivered. It's getting a little chilly out here, she said. Maybe we should build a campfire, Donald suggested. Sure, Goofy replied. Let's go find some firewood. Mickey and his friends hiked into the forest to gather some firewood. When they had enough, Goofy showed them how to pile the sticks inside a circle of rocks. Stand back while I light the fire, everybody. Then he frowned. Uh-oh, I forgot to bring the matches. Don't worry, Goofy, Minnie said. Our sleeping bags will keep us warm. Now who's hungry? We have hot dogs, corn, and s'mores for dessert, added Daisy. But Minnie and Daisy found a big surprise when they reached in the picnic basket. The basket had tipped over and something had eaten all their food. No tents, no campfire, and no dinner, grumbled Donald. At least we have flashlights. Click. Donald pushed the button on the flashlight, but it didn't shine. He tried again and nothing happened. Oh shucks, Donald cried. I remembered to buy flashlights, but I forgot to buy the batteries. Suddenly, a flash of lightning lit up the sky. Maybe we should just go home, Minnie said. We can't camp in the rain without tents, or dinner, added Daisy, or a campfire, Goofy chimed in, or a flashlight, Donald said. Mickey agreed, and the group rushed to the car. No one spoke for the whole drive home. Mickey could tell that his friends were very disappointed. As they walked into his house, Mickey had an idea. I know, he said, instead of having a camp out, let's have a camp in. 
We can camp right here in the living room. Oh, Mickey, what a great idea, Minnie cried. That sounds like so much fun. Mickey got the tent poles from the basement. Then he put the tents where, while Goofy built a fire in the fireplace. Meanwhile, Donald found some extra batteries in the kitchen and Minnie and Daisy made an even better picnic dinner. Outside, the rain kept pouring down, but Mickey and his friends didn't mind. Their tents were strong and sturdy. The fire was warm and toasty. The flashlight shined brightly and their picnic was delicious. The end. They had fun with that camp in, all of us can. Now some more Disney fun. This is a Disney scavenger hunt you can find on Pinterest. We have just a few of the clues to help you get started today, but then you can make your own or do some more that are on our list. Let's see, I happen to find Bambi's flowers in my house. I also found Ariel's dingle hopper. We all need a dingle hopper. I'm looking for Tiana's frog. I have lots of frogs around my house. I actually have tadpoles in my pond right now that are turning into small frogs. I have Remy's wooden spoon and Snow White's poison apple. I hope it's not poisonous, but it is her apple. I hope you've had fun with this Disney classic today. Go and find the scavenger hunt and see what else you can find. Bye for now. Hi everyone. This is Lauren from the North Columbus Public Library. Our theme this week is reading is classic. And we're gonna learn how to do a fun craft based on a very classic children's book that you've probably heard before. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This tiny pipe cleaner caterpillar is one of my favorite crafts for preschoolers. And it's so easy to do. Stay tuned. First, you'll need a pen or pencil and a pipe cleaner. Wrap the pipe cleaner around the pencil until you reach the end. Push the ends of the pipe cleaners together like so, and then slide it off the pencil. This will be the body of your caterpillar. Using a glue dot, or an adhesive of your choice, attach a pom-pom to the body. This will be the head. Now bend the body to make it look like the caterpillar on the book cover. And lastly, Add some googly eyes. And now you have your very own very hungry caterpillar. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for joining Simple Steps Storytime. You can find these books and more at your public library. So please come and see us. And remember to use Simple Steps every day. Read, write, sing, talk, and play, and your child will be on their way. Bye. The song, read, shout. We're open. Check us out.